Greetings. I want to talk about doing things in this video. So it's been three weeks, I think, since I started doing this channel. And I'm surprised. I can't believe I've already done like, 20 videos or 21 videos or something. Um, time goes fast when you start doing, when you do things and you're engaged in activities. It's interesting how, um, so it's been a while I've, wa I've wanted to do a YouTube channel related to what I do for work, what I'm doing now. I did the, started the podcast a year ago in January, so it's been a, been a full year now. And um, I wanted to do the videos all along, but I tried a couple times. I, I tried doing a, a YouTube channel with my music, doing a blog and uh, or vlog, uh, playing songs and stuff like that. And I did that off and on for a little while, or a well, short period of time. A couple months, I guess, I had going between a couple of music channels. And, um, you know, it was, it was difficult to get used to doing the videos and then getting caught up in um, all of the reasons why it wasn't going to work. Like, I didn't have the right kind of recording equipment, video stuff, or video editing software. I don't know how to do any of that. I don't know how to make little cool intros and uh, animations. And um, I can do the music, but I don't want to for, for like, background stuff or whatever. Um, so I got all these reasons not to, to, to do it and I just never did, but then I don't know if whatever it was three weeks, I didn't remember what it was three weeks ago. I just decided I was going to do it and I started doing it. And then once I started doing it, guess what? I've been able to do it and it's not that difficult. It just takes some time. And so I think a lot of times we want to make a change in our lives. We think about it and then we list all the reasons why it's not going to work or we think about all the things we want it to be and then get uh, intimidated by how daunting it is, how much there is to do with it. Like with this, I think, well, I want to make a YouTube channel that um, I, I guess potentially it can be a source of income. That's one element of it. Uh, but also I enjoy doing, I enjoy talking. So I used to write, I used to do a blog and now I just, I, I've devolved from writing and reading to watching and speaking. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing or just a neutral thing, but it is what it is. And I like to talk about ideas and share them and, and discuss them. So this is a fun avenue for that, but also just to be completely uh, tr out, outright, forthcoming, honest, transparent, something. People make money on YouTube and this could be uh, an avenue for some generating some income as well to supplement what I'm doing already. So you know, that's, that's some of my my uh, motivation behind it and um but I, I think like for me looking at that and thinking i want to make it uh, a business that is too much all at once so, like, there's, there's so much that has to happen to get to that point that uh i i hesitated to start or i didn't start and so coming i think finally i guess part of what allowed me to get started or um what, what lined up right was that I divorced myself from the expectation uh, that I don't have, I'm not holding an expectation at this point. I'm making videos for the sake of making videos and uh, trying to rely more on this is information that might be helpful to people, that this is information that I share in counseling sessions and people find it helpful. So you might not find it helpful, but somebody has at some point, or I think it might be, and so I'm sharing it. And so I think lining up my my motivations, my reasons for doing it, putting meaning behind it has been the most helpful thing in actually getting started with this goal and then letting go of some of those expectations that I might have had with it, that it has to look or sound a certain way or I want a certain result from it and not focusing on that because those are things that are outside of my control. So maybe the um, one, a, a message that can be, you know, to be gleaned from this talk here is that um, when we focus on the, the parts that we have control over of an action or a goal, then we will uh, we can have more success and we can feel happier with it regardless of the outcome. When we focus on things that require somebody else's participation, something externally, then it's more difficult to accomplish our goals. So if my goal is to um, to have a certain number of views on a video or to have a certain number of subscribers to the channel or to generate income or to get 
uh, you know, attention to my podcast or something through these videos, that requires somebody else to act. And now that, all right, so, so just in that, if someone doesn't act, then I'm going to feel like, well, I'm not accomplishing my goals, I'm not successful. And if that's my only, if that outcome, those markers are my only source of satisfaction, then I'm resting my satisfaction on the actions of other people. And that will leave me unsatisfied. Instead, if I look at this process as I'm creating something, it can be enjoyed or not by other people, it doesn't matter, but I'm creating something for the sake of my experience and my creation. And as I do that, I'll become better at it. I'll, I'll, I, I might learn some things along the way of how I can present something better that will be more useful to people. But it's not dependent on whether anybody watches these videos or not. My perception of success or my fulfillment, my satisfaction isn't dependent on whether or not someone's watching the videos, but on me doing it. And as I go along, I'll pick up on things like I've already, you know, I've shifted the lighting or something and, um, you know, whatever. So it's just like little things like that or trying to talk slower or plan things out a little bit better. Um, as I figure out what is working better for me to make a better presentation or share information in a, in a more palatable way, then that can increase my satisfaction as well, my education, my experience, my satisfaction in the creation process. And then maybe that becomes something that's useful to other people. But um, I think a lot of times we, well, because our culture is teaching us that, I, I talk about this all the time, and this is another variation of it, that we need to look outside of ourselves, that we have to have an external focus in order to achieve happiness and peace. Um, whether that's through substances or through uh, consumerism or through education, credentialing, um, business accomplishments, whatever it might be, um, possessing stuff, getting a bigger house, having a new car, all of these things. If those are the markers of happiness and satisfaction in life, then it's dependent on other people. And that becomes difficult because we can't control other people. When we do, we, everyone suffers. But we can control ourselves if we realize that we can and if we have an internal focus that our happiness and satisfaction comes from within ourselves regardless of what's going on outside of us then we we act we 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 act we act in in a way that is going to um i don't know what i'm saying bring us closer to our our goals i guess um the success and happiness the satisfaction comes from um being connected with ourselves rather than dependent on, there you go, independence and dependence. So rather than being dependent on um, other people, was it, uh, some, there's a quote I remember seeing recently, something about, if you're doing it for attention, you're not doing it for love. I think that might have been something like that. So like with this, if I'm making these videos strictly for attention to get thousands of views every video, then I'm not doing it because I love doing it. I'm doing it because I want some outcome. And if I don't feel loved, I don't feel appreciated, I don't feel satisfied with my work, my art, unless I'm getting attention for it. I, mean, I think that was more what the quote was going for, was that if, if I don't feel love without attention, then um, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I'm misquoting it for sure. I'm definitely quoting wrong. Um, but I, I don't know if that makes sense the way I explained it. But the, it it's got to come from inside of me. If my satisfaction, if my peace, if my love, my tranquility, all is already inside of me, then whatever I do, it doesn't matter, really, because that's already here. And that's what we try and teach children. You know, we try and teach, I try to teach my kids when they're upset about not winning at a board game. I say, or oh, what's more important, winning or playing the game? And there's sometimes silence. I think that they recognize that. They get it. They, they understand it um, up here somewhere. But in here, they feel, I want to win. Um, because they're young, and that's part of their their growing process. But what is more important is it is it the outcome or the process? Do we enjoy playing the game, or do we we only enjoy winning? And if you only enjoy winning and you don't enjoy playing the game, that could be sad because there's a lot of times where we're not going to win. And um, but the 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 game itself can be fun, and I think that that was something that took me a while to learn. But I and maybe it's just maturity, and, but I got to it at some point. And I feel like I'm there now in most things. There's still probably some areas where I, I, I am biased towards winning or uh, a little uh, lack the confidence 
to enjoy the process rather than focus on the outcome. So it's a, it's a challenge and it's difficult to keep that mindset, but as we focus on taking care of ourselves and doing what we do out of love, not out of fear that we're not accepted or fear that we're not, you know, not being validated and, and those kind of things. We, we don't need all of that. We don't need the external validation and attention to prove ourselves. And so that's what I keep repeating the same phrases over and over again, trying to get to that point. So that's my message for today. I didn't really have a message, but I just thought I'd start, start talking about this. I was just thinking um, about how I've already done this for three weeks and it just feels like I haven't been doing it for very long or that I it's been going for that long. It was just surprising to me, and I think that's uh, an indicator of flow or being in the zone in a, in a way that it just, something I enjoyed doing it, I, I enjoyed doing, and so it feels like it's not even a, a task, a chore, or work, um, and that's kind of the goal for me. I don't know if anybody else seeks that, but being able to enjoy what I do every day is uh, is a good thing, so... Okay, well, that's the end of that thought, and I will think of something else and then tell you about it in another one of these videos. <laughs> I make myself laugh. I don't know if anybody else laughs, but I'm laughing, and that's, I've said that for years. It doesn't matter if anybody else is laughing as long as I'm laughing. I don't need anybody else in my own audience. So, uh, yep, that's it. Fade to black.